what is going on YouTube so today we're gonna be doing a review so let's see what we were reviewing So today I'm going to be doing a review of that swing arm bag. So um, this is a Vikings bag swing arm bag um, that I put on my um, Sportster 883. Um, as you can see, it actually fits too with the peg. The only downside is the peg cannot close once that bag's on there. So I'm gonna give you my first impressions of the bag, let you know what I think, um, let you know if I think it's a good bag or not. Um, and I'm gonna just be completely honest in my review. Viking sent this out to me to review and I'm gonna be honest on it. So basically the construction of the bag, I will have to say, we'll, we'll do scales of uh, one, one to 10, with 10 being the best, one being terrible. So the construction of the bag, I'm gonna have to give that a 10. This is a very solid bag. Um, the thing I like the most about it is it has these little holes right here. Not sure if you can see that. The little holes for you to um, put locks on to protect what's actually in the bag. And it does secure very snug. And it's just secured with some straps. And as you can see, this bag ain't going nowhere. It will not move. It's definitely secure. And it's held in also with these clips that clip up under the strap and it has a really nice look it looks nice and it goes with the theme of how i have my motorcycle set up another thing i like about the bag is the overall construction it is really really thick it's like i don't know it's just constructed of really good quality um, on the inside you also have a pocket which i did have another bag previously and it did not have a pocket i like the fact that this bag comes with a zippered pocket which is right here and it has quite a bit of room you could put your registration in there you could put um, your driver's license you could just hold different type of paperwork and things like that that you need in that bag um, it also um, has a very thick feel looks like it could withstand the tests of time of riding um, the bike has quite a bit of room in it not as much room as a saddle bag would have but it has plenty of room like if i want to carry some tools or if i want to carry my gopro or if i want to carry my drone i could put my drone in there and carry that with me whenever i'm um, going somewhere it also has this little lip to help keep the bag secure and closed to prevent dust and stuff like that from getting in the bag. Now, I'm not going to say it's waterproof because there's it's not sealed tight. So if it's raining and you got something in there that could get wet, it probably will. It probably will get wet, to be honest. So um, overall, the feel of the bag, um, the feel of the bag, I'm going to have to get that about a seven. You know, um, I like softer leather leathers um, that feel a lot softer, softer. <laughs> can't talk today i like leathers that feel a lot softer but this leather is a little stiff to be honest but it'll probably break in after having it on for a while i'm pretty sure that it'll break in and it'll get a little bit softer um but if it was softer then i might be able to close this peg which i don't like having that peg open all the time um but overall the construction of the bag is definitely solid the mounting is definitely solid and all you do to mount this bag as you can see it comes with those um, vinyl straps strap that to the frame. I strap this strap right there To that lower part of the frame And then the higher strap is strapped behind here to the other part of the frame and as far as how it looks on the bike I think it looks amazing. It definitely has a good look on the bike. It's low profile um, It goes with the sleek lines. It's not like some big huge bag hanging off the side of your bike um, gives you quite a bit of ground clearance um, got all that ground clearance which <laughs> on a sportster I don't think I'm gonna be leaning that far but you got some room to lean so my overall impressions on the bag is is a pretty high quality bag I definitely would advise 
anyone who has a Sportster to pick up one of these Viking bags. Um, now, if you got foot pegs, that's something you got to think about, though, um, because you cannot close that peg up with this bag on here. But if you don't have passenger pegs on your bike and yours is like a bobber style or you just got uh, one seat, definitely pick up this bag. It's reasonably priced. It's definitely high quality and I'm satisfied with it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the bag, how you think it looks on the bike. I think it looks pretty amazing myself. Um, and let me know if you plan on picking one up. Um, I'll put a link down in the description to where you can get this bag but definitely check out viking bags they have a lot of nice stuff they have bags um, they also sell leather jackets things like that so definitely check them out um, they got some really high quality products for the cruiser community as well as harley see you in the next one if it's a rider signing out